Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program. Last time we got like 2100 science from Minmus and let's spend it in the research and development. We'll probably go for heavy rocketry, get ourselves a mainsail liquid fuel engine for a heavier first stage. We're not going to purchase any of that yet because it's very expensive. I want to get the advanced fuel systems. We will buy the uh, the Jumbo 64 there. We'll probably get the connector port as well. Because that will allow us to link things up outside of the ship, etc. So things like we can have a fuel port going from one vehicle to another, that sort of thing. We'll want to get advanced construction for the ground base and the fairing, things like that, that will be useful. Extra decouplers and just general things like that. We're not going to go for the claw just yet. I want to get specialized construction so we can have docking ports, etc. Portable strut, that's going to be very useful. It will allow us to strut up multiple different vehicles so we can have the, uh, the Mark III plane parts, for example, and have a cargo bay and have a vehicle inside that is secured. It's going to have to be a small vehicle though, but hey, it's going to be something. Won't need the ground pylons just yet, I'll probably go for the uh, 6k containers, there we go. We'll just ignore some of those parts for now. I'd like to get composites, so we can get the uh, structural panels. We will be using those for a rover at some point. We'll go for the 3.75 meter shell, why not? Allows us to get a wider beam going. Now we do have some more things like a senior docking port over here, which would be great to have for a station, but I think I think we can pass on that for now. Clamp patron shielded docking port. Mm. We're gonna go for this. Get ourselves bigger, better fuel tanks and everything. Get the nuclear engine. It's just too good to pass up. Propulsion. Hmm. Is there anything we'd really like? We could probably go for XL Solar Arrays. I'm gonna go for surface scanning and survey scanners at some point. It'll get us a little bit of science and it will help us find materials for drilling. We can start drilling at some point. We'll need a lot more science for that, but it's gonna be a possibility in the future. And then we can dig up ore and we can use that to convert into fuel so we can literally have a self-sustaining outpost. I want to get these parts, there we go, and we'll go for this as well, why not? Oh dear, that's expensive. So what we can do is try and develop a space shuttle. But it's going to be very expensive to buy in. And we might not use all of those parts. But we have it researched at the very least. Well, also want to go for supersonic flight. We'll purchase them. Why not? We're now sub below. We're now below a million uh, funds, which is annoying. We're going to take the mission to do a flyby of Duna because Duna we will probably return to the moon soon because we need some more money. I guess we can do this easy mission. I'll do that off camera real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I did a contract or two. Like, I did that thing. I drove it into the ocean and was like, boop, and tested it. So that's all good. Now, after a while, I've seen this one pop up. Build a new orbital station around Kerbin. It requires us to have an antenna, a docking port, and power generation, so solar panels. Facilities supporting at least seven Kerbals, a viewing cupola, two scientists, and we have to maintain stability for 10 seconds. I think that might be a fun thing to do. I was planning on building a station in orbit at some point anyway. So let's start designing the core module, don't mind this. So we needed a viewing cupola. That's Good, that is one Kerbal. Then we need to have two scientists on board. 
we also need is a bunch of things honestly first things first let's get let's start with the core like we're gonna build it out of multiple modules probably so I think that it might be a good idea to start with this and then um, crap I'm looking for there you are hitchhiker I missed you then we'd like a Rockomax, which will be our docking center, basically. We'll go ahead and we'll add multiple... What's the word? We're gonna add multiple docking ports, there we go. We'll go with four of them. We'll put some lights on here if we can. Just trying to find out if I have any lights. Yep, there we go. Illuminators. I was sort of hoping we'd have, like, blinkers on here. Like, strobe lights or something. But, apparently we're still stuck with the old Illuminator Mark 1 and 2. But what we can try and do is put them like this. And have the light shine outwards. Or, what we can try... Uh, what we can do is... Put it back like that. We can literally set them to light the docking port itself, which I think is a better idea. That way we'll have some lights lighting our own craft, even in darkness. There we go. So we can always see the docking port we're trying to aim for. We can put some general lights on here if we'd like. Just shining outwards, just in case, as a sort of quote-unquote beacon. It needed a antenna. I feel like that might be a fun thing to provide. Six antennas like that. That takes care of that. We want to get a mobile processing lab on here, ideally. That's where we'll put our scientists. Although, it is likely that we're just going to send it up in a separate module. There we go. And then to put the icing on the cake. I would like to have... One more docking port on the bottom here. Which will be used to attach to... Actually, not like that. Let's go for... A brand decoupler, like that. Then we'll stick on... Something. We'll probably go for a jumbo fuel tank. Though, yeah, these are 3.75. They're a bit bigger, so let's not. We should have the mainsail now. We do now, at least. I just want to see if this will get off the ground. This is just going to be a quick test. And what I'll probably do is cut away, do the rest of the uh, rocket development off camera. Okay, so we can get off the ground, that's good. I just want to go ahead and try and see how far we can get, basically. Lovely little view from the cupola. Yeah, it's quite nice. There we go, fix the camera. We can turn on the lights so we can see that the docking ports are lit. Not very well, but it's good enough. do have an abundant stage here. We'll probably use asparagus staging to get it into orbit. And then when you next see me, we will put the final stage into orbit. It is going to be that simple. I want to cut out most of the uh, designing work. Now that we've designed some rockets, you know roughly how it goes. But this is just a test. And we can always transfer the fuel. Because we're not going to be using the upper part of that uh, of the station to really go places. We can just use the fuel that it has on board, and we just lost control. So that is a wise lesson for me, not tip, don't tip it over in low orbit, and I will be right back with a finished core launcher, I don't know, maybe some sort of lifter module, that would be good.
Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We have the final stage. I did add an RCS tank because RCS tanks are pretty useful. Not going to lie. But that is part of the reason why stations are so good. You, you need RCS though, like... To navigate onto these docking ports, you need more than just a main engine, a main stage. Besides, this doesn't really even have a main stage. We're probably gonna have to pump the fuel from here into there. That will enable... Enable crossfeed, if we can. There we go, we'll, we'll try... That should, uh, hopefully... Enable crossfeed. I'm gonna try that. And if that doesn't... Enable crossfeed for some reason, then... I mean, it might just be a good idea to get... That's a weird camera trick. Yeah, no, we're gonna wanna f put the fuel lines back on there. I think I just saw the end of reality. I'm not entirely sure. It's, uh... That's not gonna happen to us. Nothing to worry about. We're not gonna suddenly vaporize or anything. No Apollo for us today. But yeah, we've got this, and we're gonna put it into orbit. Probably start around two thirds fuel, build up a bit of thrust. There we go. I just love the smoke. That just looks beautiful. Yeah, that looks pretty. Very pretty. Wow. <laughs> My voice is all over the place today, I swear to God. But yeah, that looked very pretty. Also looks a bit weird, but yeah, nothing to worry about. It's fine. Jabadaya's on the case. Now we have everything pumping our fuel into the middle tank, so the middle tank will stay full for longer. Which will be great. Start listening over just a little bit. Just preparing for a for later. Slow down a little bit more so that we don't build up speed quite as fast. Remember, we're still in the thickest part of the atmosphere. We will have most aerodynamic resistance. That's why I put some nose cones on these drop tanks. That way they are a little bit more aerodynamic. And I don't think the lamps are physics enabled. The docking ports might be, but certainly not the lamps. So that should keep us mostly aerodynamic, hopefully. We'll have to find out in the long run, I suppose. But yeah, this should be enough to get us into orbit. It's not going to be too great, but then again... It's only uh, a small stage. What we'll probably do next is take off this top half and then... Put on another module with a science lab. Then we'll launch another module with, I don't know, maybe parts that we can put on future spacecraft. Or just things in general. I don't know. We'll see. Throttle up a little bit because we have passed through the thickest part of the atmosphere and we can start burning a little bit faster now. And we're gonna keep the turn going. No, not too far, because otherwise that tank might just accidentally clip us on the way out. That would have been very bad. Rapid, unplanned disassembly and everything and all that. Very lethal. Especially for poor Jebediah and Bill over here. We brought Bill along because he's gonna install a part. Because just for the sake of aerodynamics and everything, plus I wanna have an excuse to toy more with the Kerbal Inventory System mod, we have once again brought Bill along who has four solar panels on him. And we can't actually see inside the storage container there. It's a little bit hard to see, but I'm trying to focus on making the orbit round first, or at least Sort of brownish. There we go, get it up to roughly 99 kilometers. Wanna try and aim for a round 100 kilometer orbit. If we can, that would be good. We're gonna tell Jebby to start focusing on pointing prograde. We're about to leave the atmosphere, so we'll get Bill out. He's gonna temporarily attach a solar panel or two on the top here. So just hit tab, open the inventory. Not hit the button for that just yet. There we go. Hi Jeb.
Figured you might need those. <laughs> and now his screen is all cluttered. It's beautiful. We can take a look from Jebediah. Yep, <laughs> there they are. Teamwork. There we go. Keep pointing prograde. What we're going to do is we're going to pump in the fuel here. Just as a precautionary measure. We can always take it back out later. And we'll start burning to circularize our orbit. Now the thing about the mainsail is that it's not very efficient. But it has a lot of thrust. It has a lot of power. That is why it's generally your first stage engine. Because first stages tend to be very heavy. And the mainsail is a great way to get a lot of thrust down low. So you can actually take off with it. Though, we did get the nuclear engine, which will be a very, very more efficient type of travel once we get to space. I think it only takes liquid fuel, not oxidizer, so we'll have to be careful with that. Here we go. We're about to get a periapsis. That would be great. There we go. How are we doing on fuel? We have a lot left. What we'll probably do is burn until we have um, an apoapsis in space, after which we use our RCS to actually lift us up the final stretch. That'll be a good idea. Now we are using our electric charge to get ourselves a line up properly. Just because we want to burn this as efficiently as possible. Wanna try and keep the fuel aboard if any craft comes along that might need it. We might even do a refueling mission at some point. Hell, we might even catch an asteroid and attach it here and then attach drills to the asteroid. Okay, there we go. Grab all the liquid fuel out of the stage. And you can see the camera shifting as it is trying to focus on the, uh, the center of weight. And the center of weight is obviously shifting to the right because we're pumping fuel in there. Sayonara, my friend. There we go, let's start burning towards the prograde with our RCS thrusters. Bye. It's also good to get us away from that debris, honestly. And we are burning very efficiently. We are barely burning any monopropellant. We have a lot on board. Like, we will barely ever have to send up a refueling mission for our... Uh, for our RCS, that's just how ma how much we carry of it. Keeping an eye on our periapsis and apoapsis, we want to try and keep them roughly around uh, 100,000 meters to have a sort of circularized orbit. And uh, that is... hundred K by a hundred K lovely now it's still not fit the requirement for the uh, actual contract here we still need facilities supporting at least seven Kerbals so two more which will be a lab and then we'll have to have two scientists on board what we're probably gonna do is we're, sending, we're going to send up a probe that will then carry the lab with two scientists on board. They'll just stay here in orbit, just doing science. What we're probably going to try and do is send the scientists up into orbit so they at least have level one. I'm not sure if it actually affects them, but it might. Actually, no, we can, we can just send up a raw scientist and send up someone who is a bit more experienced as a test. And then we can always send Jebediah up to rendezvous and recover any people that we might want to bring back or take on a mission with us. Isn't Kerbin lovely this time of year? Any EVA bill? Nope. I mean, we can reattach those solar panels on a slightly more strategic location. I think we might as well go and do that. And then we'll end the episode! The next episode we will go ahead and take all the beautiful stuff. 
that we can attach to it and we will attach it to it pretty simple what we're now going to try and do is we're going to attach a panel right there it wasn't attached well it isn't that lovely I like it floating off at least and there we go that looks a lot better than the first attempt lovely I like this this is fun it's literally just messing around we could have probably attached them and been fine like we didn't encounter that much resistance oh I love attaching them especially if it's going well like it is now there we go turn on the lights this is just in case we get to the other side and we don't happen to have a sun on the other side what I'm saying is on the other side of the spacecraft there we go Bill's becoming a natural on this hello and back inside you go I'm gonna end the episode here if you enjoyed the video then by all means don't forget to leave a like down below. It shows me that Kerbal Space Program is a series you wish to see continued on the channel. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have anything to say. And if you want to see more, why not subscribe? Anyway, until next time, have a good one, folks.